We're back again for some more fun. I was going to say frivolity. I'm not sure that's the right word, is it? You're watching, listening to the Loose Gadgies. The best place to come for all your podcast and shizzle. Did I say shizzle? I did. Yeah. Today, a very, very important debate. Very important debate. Perhaps more important in the North, I don't know. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're talking about toast. Now, Sarah submitted this one. Me and her talk about food a lot. In fact, we've got a lot of complaints over the desk dividers when we used to work together. Here, yeah, can you stop talking about food? I'm on me. I'm on me weight train diet. See, so it wasn't allowed certain stuff, and we used to just talk about cooking methods, ingredients, how crisps. This is going to have to be another debate, mind. How crisps? they have taken all the fun out of them. Not to mention, they're only two gram bags these days. But toast, though, Mark. Question: Should toast be buttered straight out of the toaster, or should you let it rest a bit? Before you butter it. Well, so do you want it? Do you want a full melt, or do you want it slightly not melted? Well, I'm a, I'm a convert. This is what we were just discussing before, and he has converted mm. me. I was I was an immediate uh, butter on, and mm. Um, mm. and let the puddle uh, mm -hmm. commence. Um, mm -hmm. But she's converted me into leaving it for maybe four or five minutes, and then buttering. And... Four or five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. If your man would say, it'll be cad. It'll be I, I too just, cold. I, nah, I'll leave it maybe 30 seconds or something just to take the edge off. You know, enough to get the toast sweat on the bench underneath. Yeah. You get a bit of toast sweat there and you've just got to wipe it down. Nah, but, stick, it on the, stick it on the bench or the chopping board just to just to let it steam off a bit. Yeah. And then you, you butter it with your lure pack. Most of it melts, but you've still got these little chunks of, you know. Ooh. I was, I was like thinking about because I, I like I like the odd bit of crumbit here and there, you know, and. Uh, <laughs> and now is a crumbit just like putting butter through a sieve? Oh, hi! When it goes through all the holes. You end up with it. You got you got to have a plate because you end up with a bloody puddle on the plate, don't you? Oh, because right, you'll end up with all sorts of butter just in the holes, and it'll just squirt out when you. I haven't had a crumpet in I don't know how long. It's a long... I haven't had some crumpet in probably about the same amount of time. Well, it's funny because my dad swears by a muffin, but, um, Ooh. you know... Ooh, a breakfast yeah. muffin. Ooh, That's it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Uh, I bought some. They were on special. Interestingly, I, I never toast um, sliced bread now. I never toast it. I don't... So... All of my toast comes from like chia butter, but uh, on that sort of stuff. But it doesn't come from the um, it doesn't come from a toaster. It's either grilled or air fried. I don't use the toaster. Air fried. Yeah. Mm. You. I challenge you today. Do your toast in the air fryer. It's like can you remember when you used to have French toast when we were a kid. The the French mm. them, them when you were on a diet you had them French French breads. Them little French breads. Uh, what were they called? Melba toast, them little Melba toast things. I don't know. But yeah. is it, will it be a bit like fried bread then, but without the oil? Well, do it. Do a challenge to use the air fryer to make a piece of toast. It's much crunchier. It's mm. much better. It probably dries it out properly, though, doesn't it? Because that's yeah, essentially what yeah. you're doing. Isn't it? Yeah. Drying it out. So the toaster, the toaster which hits it from both sides, mm. is a really fast cook. And in the middle, it's still obviously a little bit claggy, uh, mm. but it's an air fryer, cooks it at a moderate temperature uh, across, toasted. you know, yeah, basically. Interesting. Now, It'd be more we like were a crouton then, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it becomes very much like a crouton, but I love the crunch, and you, you keep it, and then actually you probably get away with putting your butter on straight away, but I still like to leave it a little bit. Mm. We were discussing my dad's... Warm. Yeah, oh, it's still gonna be warm. Your dad, your dad's, your dad's controversial. He's absolutely yeah. criminal. So the controversial is because obviously, back in the day, back in two hundred years ago, when we right. didn't have toasters, we just had the grill, and right. the grill 
you put your toast in the grill and as you said you would you would blow the top to get the flames make sure it's gone all the way across wouldn't you aye because it would only light the corner so you had to blow on it to yeah. light all the elements aye yeah get the gas and, and then and then he would so here's the controversy he only toasted one side of the bread there's something wrong with that yeah and he had great pleasure in taking a slice and then folding it up so you're basically making toast like anyway a to- like a toast sa- uh, yeah he put a weird sandwich. I was. Rem- he put a the non-toasted bit, fold it, and then start eating it. So then he's making a bread sandwich with the Basically toast on the outside. Sandwich. Yeah, and it's but it's bread on the inside, so it's the bread yeah. sandwich. Yeah. And actually, you know, when you think about it, you get a contrast of crunch and soft. I suppose you do, but yeah, it just it feels like indecision. Yeah. Now, we didn't get into the elements of a good piece of toast. Are we just butter? Are we buttering anything else? Or, you know, well, are we adding well, another I, I condiment will, on? I will say, yeah. a good buttery butter. You cannot, you cannot be hiding some cheap Benicol Marge on there or Flora Ultra Million Light on there. And it's just like, well, all you've done is spread some flavourless oil on it. It's got to be something like Lurpak where it's just a little bit salty. Mm. Lightly salted, or maybe it's a, a nutly butterly. Just something that, or tell you what is a uh, country life. It's it's got like six hundred and fifty million calories in every in every <laughs> sort of spread of it. But you can taste it. It, it I, I, I only know this as I checked. It's like uh, it's around about six hundred and something calories per hundred grams, whereas most of your other butters are between four and five hundred. Yeah. But the the taste though. It competes with Lurpak in terms of having the, the butteriness to it. So I think it matters what butter you put on. But, and I'll, I'll ask you this, because mm. I I'll, I'll, I'll love peanuts and peanut butter. Where I could sit and just eat a jar of peanut butter. I just love the, weirdly, I'm, I'm very fussy about textures and stuff with, with you know, my, my autistic brain, but there's something about the clag of, of peanut butter and washing it down with a cup of tea. Mm. And like just rinse it like the like the sort of the clagginess and then the relief, something about it. But would you, would you, if you were putting jam or peanut butter or something like that on your toast, would you also butter it? Um, Really good question. Ninety nine times out of a hundred, and just one. So I just jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gotta have a base. I I know. And, but I don't. I just because I'm so. You know how tough I am on on calories. Yeah. Uh, I, I tend to. I tend to miss one of them out. Um, but I do. I do like the. I do like the flavour of going butter and like a strawberry jam or something. Yeah, it feels like there's something missing. I will because I went all calorie control as well, and I, I still do it to this day where I'll only butter one side. Mm. So if I'm having, if I'm having a, I don't know. I like the. Maybe it's the, the German, I know this is going to create an innuendo, but I love the German salami. Yeah. Uh, the the thinly sliced stuff, so I'll hide that in, but I'll only put on one side and I might put a sauce like a, a mayo or something on the top. Because I think, well, the whole point is I don't want dry bread, right? So I can just put on one side and mayonnaise the other. Right? Yeah. So that's a, or like butter on one side might be enough. So I try and get away with that. You can always tell the difference, though. Yeah, here's one for you. Um, in terms of, we never, we never got like the Americans with the, their peanut butter and jelly. So oh, no. why, why, why did we not go that route? I, I haven't even tried it, you know, because I don't Sounds even like really sweet. And, I, I don't even like sweet and sour sauce or like that. So mixing that sweet and savory, I... we were. We had uh, Anita's Anita's sister came around the other day, and, and they went because mm. the last time I was at the caravan, it, it's pizza day on a Friday, so I had a pizza, pepperoni pizza, and I had some honey, and I was drizzling honey on it, and they were taking the mick. But then they went to Aldi or Little or something, and they were selling honey something pizzas at Aldi, and they said it was a game changer. Honey and on a pizza. Honey on a pizza. Yeah, I put well, honey on my toast, no problem. I will say this, that Reese's Pieces is chocolate and peanuts, or chocolate and, chocolate and peanut butter. 
Mm. Now, I, one of my probably my favourite bar of chocolate is a Snickers. Mm. Yeah, I'm with you. Right, especially yeah. if it's been in the fridge or the freezer. Oh yes, now you're talking dirty. I sat, oh, I sat and watched somebody. I was watching a game and stream oh. of one of me, one of my favourite games. The, one of the games me and Michael used to play together, Borderlands. The guy just said, "Have a snack," and you can just see a little picture of him in the corner. Now, what's he eating? What's he eating? Oh, it's a Snickers, and he was just biting it in half. And I, what are you doing? Mm. What are you doing? Why aren't you biting the chocolate off from round the sides first? What's that about? You can't just be hoying half the Snickers in your gob and chewing it. What? No. Absolutely. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely. So uh, maybe the sweet, savoury thing, you know, when you've got the nuts mm. and, the, and yeah. the chocolate in the one, or maybe that works. Yeah. Maybe it does. Mm. I like I like that, yeah. But yeah, I would... Um... I'm, I'm, you know, uh, what I would recommend is we all get in that certain way of doing toast in a certain way. Try something different. What's the worst that happened? You don't like it, you put the piece of bread in the bin and you make it the way you like it. But just try it. Hmm. 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 What about, what about crisps though? Mm. While we're on crispy things. Or, uh, oh, no, 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 because you mentioned pizza. You mentioned pizza, because I was going to save this for another day, but I'm going to bring it up now. Pineapple. Warm fruit. I know I know tomatoes technically fruit, right? It's a berry. Mm. But pineapple's different. Hot pineapple on a pizza. I'm in. Oh, no, man. Yeah, I'm in. We, should, we need to stop having these episodes, because I'm... I'm I'm racking up so much disappointment. <laughs> Sweet and savoury, it's in. Nah. Yeah, pineapple. Lovely sweet sugar with ham, which is a savoury. Plenty of cheese on it. Well, winning. And actually, I'll go a bit further. I'm going to stick some chilli powder on it. Oh, I mean, I, I, I've made spicy uh, tomato sauces and made even a, a, a spicy uh, bolognese. Because I mean that's essentially what a what a chili is, isn't it? You you make a bolognese base and then start adding kidney beans yeah. and all that, yeah. gubbins and stuff in, right? So I mean it, it fits, but pineapple on a pizza. Oh. Well, I did a I did a weight loss. I think the I think it was created by the Americans, so it's not it's not even Hawaiian, is it? It's just like it's created by. Well, the Americans. well, well we pizza's not even a, pizza's not even Italian. It was it was no. created in uh, it was an, an Italian American thing created in New York. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah. of course, the Italians went, well, they're technically Italian, so we can bring it back here and then fool everyone into thinking that this is where it came from. Mm. Of course, it didn't. It's an American invention. We won't go into a deep pan or thin and crisp because don't, don't give thin. me that deep pan crap. Oh, don't, yeah. nah. No. The stuff you get from Plaza Pizza in Whitley Bay. Oh. It's, it's basically like a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. With some sauce on it. Aye. It's like a doorstep. <laughs> so my yeah. mate used to... My mate used to... After a, a bit of a night, mind you, we didn't have to have a bit of a night. Um, he would get the kebab pizza from Plaza Pizza, right? Which is basically a doorstep of bread with all the sauce on, which is usually enough for most people, like. And he would just pile up about two kebabs worth of kebab meat on the top because he would get the. You could only you would only go for the minimum, the medium, but he quite often got the large. I mean, you're not going to be all that. And he was he was he was like a stick, but he's one of those people that's built like a stick. But you can yeah. just keep smashing food and you think, where does it all go? Where does it all go? How do you stay like that? Uh, quit metabolism. Quit yeah. metabolism. You know, he had six dumps in one day. Counted them. Yeah. That's a feat. Six. Six. The summer round. Get it. That's a feat. <laughs> That's a feat. <laughs> That's a feat. <laughs> six in one day, man. Six proper ones as well. Yeah. So I'm like, this, the yeah. summer. You need to go see someone about that. That shouldn't happen. But he was just, he was just always eating. He's always eating something. Yeah. But nah, one of them doorsteps, no, it has to be, oh, you cannot have, I tried it, horribly, horribly sickly. It's one of those things that Domino's invented where you have that very thin layer of pizza, a ton of cream cheesy stuff in the middle, and then another thin layer of crust on the top. 
Then you have your sauce and your cheese and your pepperoni and whatnot. I forgot. What, they called it the double cement or other, but it was all cheese right. in the middle. I'm like, no, I'll have it in the crust. That can be quite nice, you know, like uh, stuff crust. Like you get a pe- yeah, the stuff crust, the, the Pizza Hut or something, mm. or you or you might yeah. stuff it with an extra bit of tomato sauce or something. That I can put up with. But what was it called? The the other one where they flip it over, calzone or something. Yeah, cal- that- yeah, when you fold it. No. Nah. Yeah, no, not into that. Because that has to be relatively thick as well. I'm like, no. Mm. I don't want a shed load of dough. The dough is just the vehicle for everything that's on top of it. Mm. The dough is not the pizza, if you know what I mean. I don't really want a crispy bottom though either. I don't need it. Nobody does, do they? Nobody does. You don't want to no. be snapping your underpants off. That's it. Oh, that. Go back to, back to changing your underpants again. Oh, no. I oh, know. So, what, what have we had? What have we had? So, we've had scatter cushions. We've had the live, laugh, love from you. We've had yeah. the pineapple. Honestly. Yeah. It's been a bad day, yeah. Alec. It's been a bad day. You know what? Oh, I need to stop bringing these things up. I've got another few, you know, that I want to bring up next time. Let's keep them going. And now, well, we'll do one last one. Yeah. Because this is such a strong... Next week, are you? I'll, I'll do this last one because it's such a yeah. strong dislike, right? And it usually happens in curry shot, uh, curry sauce from the chip shop. Although I've had it elsewhere. Oh, they have it in school as well. Sultanas in curry sauce. You see, I, I, I'm going to say no because it just reminds me of the, the the basic thing that we thought was a curry at the time, which was curry sauce with raisins in. And the curry is so much more than that, but that reminds me of how we were stuck for mm. so long that that was curry sauce. Basic. Yeah. Uh, so no, not. And now, now we're pretty much a, a curry capital on yeah. the planet. You, I mean, I this remember, particular remember, city up in up in Newcastle, I think we do it best. We've tried it in Germany, and it was awful. I remember working in the Tyne Tunnel Trading Estate, uh, and uh, it was called Rob, and he was the first person to teach me how to um, cook a curry. And his recipe was uh, tinned curry, curry sauce, and Campbell's chicken soup, and that was it. I thought it was brilliant, and it was so terrible. What? Yeah. <laughs> I bought all the spices and everything. I know, that's what I mean. So I could make my own from scratch. Yeah. Well, I'd give it a go, because I like me my dresses. So, yeah. Oh, I'd give it a go. And we just thought it was it was something you got from the chingies in a tub. You know what your mum likes? Maysan. Oh, that you know, one, the that's dry, what we used to use in the chip shop. The dry stuff. Aye, Maysan. Yeah, Maysan. I will yeah. it. Her folks had a shop as well, so they yeah. had that Maysan. To me, mum yeah, loves it. Maysan and Makeway. Makeway. That was the other one. Mm-hmm. Makeway. Yeah. Yeah. Mum still loves it to this day. I bought a yeah. tub just to see if it rejigged any childhood memories. What you do? What you do is you make it right. You make it, and then you only have half of it. And when it goes cold, it's like a solid lump. You can fill it back up with water, and it goes back to the same <laughs> way it was. <laughs> He kind of goes like this jelly stuff, and like, yeah, what the hell's yeah. in this? Get two settings from it. Mm. Two settings. Aye. <laughs> Aye. Yeah. I did that the other night. We, we got it. Was it the other week? We got a chingies, and I got I got fried rice and prawn crackers and this curry sauce. Had half a curry sauce, and I went back two hours later, and it was solid. And I just put water, and it went back to the same way it was, but it was full now. It's like magic. Marvelous. Yeah. Marvelous. Right, so yeah. more fun next time because there's still some more topics to, to cover. I've still got mm-hmm. to cover the whole topic of crisps. Oh, yeah. Something that which was my brother's first date conversation with the person he's with now because these things are important. Mm-hmm. So think about this for next time. Have they taken the fun out of them? And there is only one answer. Uh, so uh, you don't want to lose any more points than that so you've got to do your research for next week mm. yeah I'm on it like a car bonnet read so uh, so like subscribe follow all of that leave some comments I'll be expecting some uh, some comments on the whole pineapple on pizza debate as well the bacon mm. sandwich one sparked a bit of a controversy with marmite marmite on a bacon sandwich Honestly, I don't know whether I should be disappointed in your mum or not. <laughs> having having not tried it, I can't I can't comment. Well, there you go. As I said before, we've got to try these things. Then, nah, nah. George, 
but it, it just sounds it sounds ring mm. it? it sounds ring but until next week take care